hey hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel it's been a while guys this is reflex image if this is your first time visiting don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon and if you're already a subscriber welcome back please do subscribe notification is free you won't be charged a dime for it it just makes youtube recommend my videos to others who i need to watch it so i'll be showing you how i collaborate this picture from start firstly the picture was taken with canon usr uh it's five millimeter prime lens ef lens uh apache 1.8 iso 100 shutter speed 1 slash 200 so i'm using just a major one source of light here which is the 8200 pro and uh a 65 centimeter beauty dish diffuser so those are total light setup i use and the camera i use the gear I use so the next thing the first thing we do is to do what i think our exposure is kind of okay but i think the white is too much on the skin so i'll just come to the white I'll bring it down. Under the light highlight also, I'll do the same thing, uh, but not too much. Then the contrast, I'm going to increase the contrast up. Picture is already looking nice right now, but the background is too dark for my liking. So you can come to the shadow and do what? Drag up the shadow a little bit, a little bit to actually expose the background a little bit. But if you love, if you are someone that loves a darker background, you can go with it. So scroll down. I don't think we have much to do here. I don't think we have much to do here. So under the saturation, bring up the saturation so it's going to saturate both the skin and everything all together so bring up the saturation i don't think to i don't need to work with the white balance i think the white balance is still okay oh let's tint it a little bit let's go to tints let's tint it a little bit so we just like three single click right now here is the before of our picture and here is the after so that being said right now the next thing i will scroll down to my hsl adjustments then I'll zoom in on my subject piece. Under the face, I'm going to increase the skin tone a little bit. This is for the skin tone, if you don't know. So we'll just increase it a little bit. And what again? What do we need to do again? The red is actually still okay. We can increase the green, but it's not going to reflect much because all those areas are dark. So I think those are just the two colors we need to work with right now. The next thing you need to do is to do is open your picture in Photoshop and wait for it to load up. So let's see what it's going to give to us right now. Even with this, I think your picture is actually good to go. But I can just add a little bit of adjustment colors to it. So I won't be retouching this picture right now. I will be dropping an entire new video on retouching in general. So using this panel, I have over here, retouch for me panel. But for today, we are not here for that today. So the next thing I'll do is to do is go to my adjustment layer, under adjustment layer. I'll go to selective color. On that selective color, I'll open it and go to black. Because we know our background is kind of dark. So if you want to make it very very okay come to the magenta eyes can you see what it gives to us it actually adds a bit some nice colors to the background if it's too much just bring it down a little magenta eyes you can try it with yellow also let's see what the yellow is going to give us okay if you have to bring the yellow down this way look at the color it's giving us more of yellowish look on the background mm -hmm. and you have to drag it up like this look at what it's giving us more of purplish look on the background so now look at the before and look at the after of what we just created with the backdrop in photoshop with just few simple clicks so retouching does not have to be that hard it's something you can just achieve on your own so look at this right now you can just color you can export the picture of this video. your picture is already good to go so let's say you know you're not satisfied with the black enough okay let's go back to the skin tone let's go to red but now if you are using red don't like the camera we can separate color this is going to be working for both the skin and also the outfit and a little bit of yellow so if i'm to increase the red sorry if i'm to increase the red if i'm to drag it down here you can see it's going to give us more reddish look on where the red color is which is actually nice so now look at the before and after of what we just did in photoshop these are just three things i make use of we have the color balance there and we have some you also have your saturation in photoshop but these are just a few things I use in editing my pictures in this particular picture because the picture is already looking pink, it's already nice. As you can see, I retouched this picture without using any lot or any presets. I retouched from scratch, from A to Z, without using both lot and presets. So you can just try this on your personal time and see what you're going to come out with this. So if this video helped more with another, don't forget to drop a like. Someone out there might be in need of this video. So see you guys in my next video tutorial reflex out so welcome to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated about my latest video 
you'll get notified so i will stay updated and know when i drop a new video and most of my video i want to help you when it comes to manipulation aspects so all you just need to do is subscribe just click on the subscribe button and it's totally free so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabric my color lookup my presets so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here is my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my preset file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice 